Hello, uh, today we are going to talk about the place of articulation of consonants. Uh, and I'd like to begin with a question you are all familiar with from your childhood. Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Uh, definitely, if you want to find the answer to this question, you will need a mirror. Indeed, um, it's an extremely useful object while learning how to uh, pronounce sounds in a foreign language. So, have a mirror at hand. Now, um, if we remember, right, um, while producing a consonant sound, we create a kind of a block to the air stream uh, flowing up from the lungs. Um, uh, this block is created uh, with the help of certain articulators, uh, with the help of certain parts from the vocal track. That's why we have to come back to this picture and see which are uh, the parts of the vocal tract uh, involved in the, in the production of speech sounds. So, here we have the lips. Uh, these are the teeth. Uh, this is the alveolar ridge. This is the um, hard bone just be behind the upper teeth. Uh, then, um, behind the alveolar ridge is the hard palate. Uh, then, the vellum or the soft palate. This is the uvula and this is basically the piece of flesh hanging down from the back of the vellum which can be easily seen in the mirror just open your mouth and you're bound to see it um, this is the tongue this is the tongue teeth the front part and the back part and we have um, mentioned already the vocal folds uh, previously, right? However, we did not mention that the space between the vocal folds is called glottis. So, uh, in what way will this help us? You are going to see in a minute. Um, while producing um, a consonant sound, so while creating that blog, as a rule, two articulators are involved. One is active, and this is basically means that that articulator moves, whereas the other is passive, uh, and it means that it doesn't move. So the active articulator moves towards the passive articulator. And in English we have uh, the following classification of the consonant sound uh, according to the place of articulation. You might notice that the name itself tells you where exactly the articulation um, takes place. Thus, for example, uh, bilabial sounds. It involves that both lips are um, um, involved in the production of this speech sound. Indeed, the bottom lip which is the active articulator, moves towards the top lip. Labio dental. Labio. Lip, dental, teeth. And the bottom lip moves towards the top teeth. Dental means that the teeth are involved here. And the tongue teeth moves towards the upper front teeth. Um, alveolar. The tongue tip moves towards the alveolar ridge. Postalveolar, uh, as we have different type of consonants here, depending on the consonant, either the tongue tip or the tongue blade moves towards the region just behind the alveolar ridge. Uh, Palaton, uh, the tongue front moves towards the hard palate. Velar, uh, the tongue back moves towards the vellum. And finally, we have a glottal sound in English, um, and um, here um, only the vocal folds are involved, uh, and as we, uh, you can see, there is basically no passive 
articulator uh, as uh, the um, vocal folds are moving towards each other. Uh, now there is nothing left but to check um, if it is really so. Um, take the mirror and let's see. So, uh, bilabial consonant sounds. Just see it if uh, indeed the lips are involved in the production of this speech sound. P, B, M. You notice that the bottom lip moves towards the upper lip. Uh, labial dental. F, V. The bottom lip moves towards the top teeth. Dental. V, V. The tongue teeth moves towards the upper front teeth, right? V, V. Uh, alveolar. Uh, the tongue tip moves towards the alveolar ridge, and we have t, d, n, s, z, l. Post alveolar. The tongue tip moves the, uh, towards the region just behind the alveolar uh, ridge, and we have sh, z, ch, j, and r. Palatal. Uh, as we have said, um, the front part of the tongue moves towards the hard palate, and we have e. um, Valor. Um, the um, tongue back moves towards the velar, and we have k, g, and m. And finally, uh, the glottal sound. Uh, where, as we have said, uh, the vocal folds move towards each other. Um, I don't know if you have noticed, but uh, the sound w is missing. Why is it so? Uh, if we uh, look uh, in the mirror, we see that uh, the lips are involved in the production of this sound, and that would make the sound bilabial. And indeed, it was believed to be a bilabial sound. However, due to uh, technology, it was discovered that not only the lips are involved in the production of this sound, but also um, the um, back of the tongue moves towards the velum. And that's why this sound is um, called a labial uh, velum sound. So, that would be all concerning the place of articulation of consonants. And next time I'd like just to deal with the manner of articulation of consonants. Um, and I'd like to finish just like usual with a poem, which is Mirror, mirror on the wall, I'm telling you my secrets once and for all. I really want you to see the other side of me, not my appearance, somewhere behind the looks. I want you to know that you know how I feel, you show me my expression, everything is true, you never lie, like most people do. Mirror, mirror on the wall, I have no secrets, because you know them all. Um, trust yourself. Trust what you see in the mirror, trust your friends, um, and practice more, you are bound to succeed. See you next time. Bye.